Ready for some Wolverine in-your-face action in your hands? It's the X-Men handheld game. Cyclops, look out. Apocalypse is above you. Sneak attack by Juggernaut. Get the excitement of the X-Men in your hands. Hey, get your claws off there. That's right, Hasbro has brought back from the dead the Tiger Electronic LCD handheld games from the 90s with four reissued titles. We got X-Men, we got Sonic 3, we got Transformers, and of course we got The Little Mermaid. Are these handheld titles as good slash bad as you remember? Well, let's find out coming up right after this. First, let's examine the outer packaging. We have X-Men here. Top right hand corner, we've got the From the Vault Tiger logo, as well as the old school Tiger Electronics in the top left hand corner. But I'm so happy to say they got rid of that stupid plastic clamshell coffin that these always used to come in, that you would need some industrial scissors to cut, and as soon as you cut it, you would have the sharpest, most jagged edge possible. Um, there's probably more than a handful of times I can count during my childhood where I've had to open one of those clamshell blister packs and I've cut myself in the process. So glad to see they're not using that. They're just using this cheap little flimsy cardboard. Has a little stand here. Has the J hook so you can throw it on there. But on the back, got the old school comic right here. Wolverine tearing somebody to shreds and then some gameplay. As you can see, it's super enthralling and super detailed gameplay, but you kind of knew what you were getting when you probably picked up or pre-ordered one of these handhelds. So that's the X-Men one. Transformers Generation 2. Now this is actually probably pretty unique. Um, as much as you love or hate these Tiger Electronic handheld devices, this one is actually very rare. So in in that clamshell coffin, the original Generation 2 Transformers uh, Tiger Electronics is going anywhere from $100 to $200. And if you have a loose one, it's probably fetching around $70 to $80, and that's if it has the battery shell on the back there. So that's kind of impressive that we are able to get this for the retail price of $14.99, as opposed to, if you're being a serious collector, having to fork out the $200 for a brand new in-box one if that's what you were after. So very good looking little handheld. Like I said, it's all black, very sleek, but very nice at that $14.99 price point because back in the day, as we look at Sonic, these were $20. So these are actually cheaper than they were in the 90s, but of course, you know, technology has gotten much cheaper and much more efficient as far as how it is produced. So that is, that is a reason a lot of people picked these up in the 90s. Um, these were excellent gifts and stocking stuffers. Uh, you know, like a Game Boy or something was $100 and a Game Boy game would be $40. So grandma and grandpa typically weren't going to spend that much money on you in case, unless they really, really loved you. So a lot of times your friends or relatives and family members, they would buy you something like this if they knew you liked video games. I actually had this Sonic 3 one back in the day, and the only thing I can see just right out of the gate is a little bit of graphical changes, because I remember it had like a, a Sega logo down here, and I think it had the Tiger logo down here, whereas it's changed up and has the Tiger logo up here in the top left-hand corner. So other than some minute aesthetic changes to these, overall they are going to be 100% faithful as far as gameplay and form factor, the buttons, the designs. Each one of these Tiger Electronic ones play differently. They all have their own unique handheld button configurations that make them individual and unique. So one thing to note after I've opened these from the package that I immediately noticed is that the back battery cover is held on with a screw. That was not like that originally. Not a big deal, but it's kind of annoying because I just wanted to slide it off and throw in some batteries, but you'll need a screwdriver. So not really sure why they changed it other than to maybe differentiate it a little further from the originals, but definitely something that has been changed. Inside the package, you'll get the instruction manual for each game that you pick up. It tells you how to play it. Gives you a little backstory, but there you have it. Now let's play. All right, we got Transformers. So we're in vehicle mode. Scroll along. Objective is to transform, kill the bad guys on the screen, go back into vehicle mode, and make it towards the end of the level to where we have our boss battle. We can call in a buddy per level. So we'll call in another Autobot. 
He'll sit down there and shoot people and help me out. In reality, I don't think he does anything but sits there and dies, obviously. Apparently Optimus is going to have to one-man gang this, do it all himself. Listen to those awesome sound effects. Fortunately though, you can hit the sound button and turn off the beeps. So you don't wake up the whole house with this beeping noise. And of course we had the Little Mermaid, something obviously geared toward the ladies, but uh, perfectly honest, I'm pretty sure I owned this as a kid growing up as well. Like I said, these Tiger Electronics were everywhere. We traded them on the school playground and uh, I definitely remember playing this one for sure. The goal is to swim along and pick up some things off the sea floor like books and other human trinkets. Swim along once they come up, swim down, pick them up and you get points. Obviously the music is super repetitive and gets old real quick, but again, we're playing this on a glorified calculator, so. Play a little Sonic 3, we got basic direction buttons on the left, and then we got a jump, or a spin attack, a pick up an item, and then a Tails button. So we'll call on Tails, see what he does. Apparently he just recenters this on the screen there. And puts me in a spot to get killed, apparently. Thanks, Tails. Appreciate it. Great guy. Oh, there's the bad guy. There's Robotnik. Or Eggman, whatever you want to call him. I think in the last stage, you got to hit Juggernaut in uh, Apocalypse like 21 times. It's nuts how difficult this game gets all of a sudden. But as you can tell, it's super basic, rudimentary. Um, these games were aimed at five-year-olds through 12-year-olds. That was the target, target demographic, so you can understand why these are so simple. There we go, get some health. Look at him cheating. Just floating around there. And Juggernaut just rams into me. Why is I mean, it's great looking little handheld. These are great for collector's devices. Again, if you're a nostalgic person and you're looking to relive some of that 90s glory, or if you're looking to punish the kids, something like this is definitely going to be right up your alley. <laughs> and that does it for the handheld gameplay of these Hasbro reissued Tiger Electronic LCD handhelds. Now, if we're being honest, by 2020 standards, of course, these do not hold up at all. And if we're really being honest, even in the 90s, they didn't hold up. But back in the 90s, we were just happy to play video games on whatever devices we could possibly get our hands on, even if that meant playing on a glorified calculator like these Tiger Electronic devices, or if we had something a little more sophisticated like a Nintendo Game Boy or a Game Gear. Either way, we were just happy to play video games because that meant we could ignore the teacher in class, or while we were sitting there on the bus ride home, we can ignore the next door neighbor, little Timmy, as he talked about how he stared into the sun for 60 minutes and it gave him a headache. True story, that really happened to me. Either way, if you're looking to go down that nostalgic rabbit hole and you want to pick one of these up, I'll put product links down in the video description box below. Currently, these are kind of going in and out of stock on Amazon, but you can also order them through GameStop should you wish to do that. But that does it for this video review. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Really means a lot.